crazy. While the video is intriguing, its origins are uncertain, leaving its validity open to question. The unusual lights and silent, floating object could potentially be explained by creative video editing, an as yet unidentified natural phenomenon, or even an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Aquí se ve el anillo. Este mano mide 45 centímetros. Y también trae una placa de esas de metal, como la pueden ver. Ahí está la placa. How many y'all think that's real? The stuff that they're showing, like, uh, I'm like, look, man, it's cool to think about, you know, a lot of these extraterrestrials out here and stuff, right? But I, I for some reason, for me, just for me, I, I call cap. I, I respectfully call it cap. Let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel about that because I I, I I I try to disprove things before I believe them and you know start going deeper into it. If I find red flags, bro, like the things are being faked out, I just uh, you know um, I've I, I've seen too much on the skeletal remains on how they got this little being that they're showing. It. it the math ain't mathing, people. I just got to tell you. The math ain't mathing, man. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. It's just my opinion, though. Don't mean that I'm right. It could very well be real. But, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to keep it a buck on here. I, I call it cat, man. kind of alien is that. We can call it the cap daddy. <laughs> they, 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 they showed the cap daddy. Welcome back to the coolest channel on YouTube, man. I got a crazy lineup for y'all here today, man. Let's go ahead, smash that like button. Let's get this video to 20,000 likes, man. Share this with your friends and families because, look, man, life is getting crazy. Life is always life and out here, right? But, look, man, hopefully y'all been having a good day. Just know we're going through this thing called life together. You're never in it by yourself. But, look, good vibes only. Let's hop back into this video. <laughs> seeds in it it's real Bro, if you eight foot tall, 115 pounds, you ain't got no business walking down somebody's street like that, bro, in the middle of the night. You know that's spooky. That's crazy. Some of y'all can't read that fast. Y'all don't know what's going on. Sitting one day, <laughs> drinking some coffee. And I was looking at the line in, at Chick-fil-A. Three lines starting at 1030 in the morning. And I stayed there for an hour. It never let up. I said, ain't no way in hell that a chicken sandwich tastes that good. <laughs> so no I way. said, let me see. Uh, I wonder what they're putting in it. And I started doing the research right at the time that you remember, you know, in the hood, there was this argument, Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A. Hold up. That's not just in the hood. That was worldwide. <laughs> People was flying in from other countries trying to figure that shit out. And everybody was going back and forth. And people, you seen people at Popeyes, man, got shot. Man, shot somebody because they didn't have no more chicken sandwiches left. I mean, I said, I said this ain't no regular chicken sandwiches. So I went and the Popeye's chicken sandwich. 
Come to find out, they have 40, over 40 ingredients in the Popeye's chicken sandwich. 32 of them were man-made chemicals. And I said, well, let's see what Chick-fil-A has. Over 50 chemicals in the chicken sandwich, over 40 of them were man-made chemicals. I said, so hell, this is a dope sandwich. So they, hell, they really are flipping birds over there. <laughs> they, I mean, because there's no way in the world to justify. So whenever I seen that, um, I said it in a message. And someone took the clip of it and then went on the website of Chick-fil-A, had it broke down where they were clicking on it, showing all of the ingredients and these chemicals that were in it. Do you know the next day Chick-fil-A took that down off their website? So now, now you can't find the ingredients to the Chick-fil-A sandwich or the Popeye's uh, chicken sandwich because they don't want you to know that they're drugging you, that they're doping you, that, that they have you wanting the food not for nutrition or value, but because you become addicted by the MSG and the other chemicals that they've inserted in that also are immune. Oh. Baba Vanka. Hey, you want to know what's crazy, though, is is you think about it though like i mean that's already that's already happening with the water and then with the food too that's like a double whammy you feel me wondering why you can't why why, why people mad and they can't regulate they you know uh you know regulate themselves in a proper manner to be around like civilized folks you know that's because you're eating uncivilized foods and uncivilized you you're putting uncivilized waters and stuff into your system and on your skin a lot of people think because you're not ingesting it, that water not tearing you up. I keep telling you, I get filters, man. And look, distill your water, drink chlorophyll. We got to get it together, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to help. I may have died almost 30 years ago, but she had plenty of predictions about 2023. And in a word, they're terrifying. What new developments will 2023 bring? Given the events of the past few years, that's a pretty fraught question. The COVID-19 pandemic, political upheaval around the world, war in Ukraine, weather disasters, and inflation are just some of the perils the 2020s have had to offer so far. Science can make some guesses about what's to come, but for highly specific predictions of events, some people turn to soothsayers and self-proclaimed psychics to help navigate the potentially treacherous waters ahead. For example, Nostradamus, whose predictions for 2023 included inflation and a vague omen about Mars. But that 16th century mystic died almost 500 years ago. Isn't there a more modern psychic to consult? Indeed, there is. Baba Vanga. Vangelia Pandeva Dimitrova was born in 1911 in Strumica, North Macedonia. According to local legend, when she was 12 years old, a tornado threw the girl into the air. She was found several days later close to death and with her eyes sealed shut. Her eyes were completely caked with sand and dust. While she was waiting to be found, Dimitrova is said to have experienced her first vision of the future. According to Sky History, Dimitrova started attending school in 1925 and learned to read Braille. She wasn't able to write down her predictions, so she relied on those around her to accurately write the vision she relayed to them. After adopting the name Baba Vanka, she gathered quite the following. She's said to have foretold events like the assassination of Indira Gandhi and 9-11. Vanga died in 1996 after being nicknamed the Nostradamus of the Balkans. So what did the late seer have to say for 2023? It seems she may have predicted what bioethicists have dubbed gene shopping or gene editing, in which parents pick and choose genetic traits for their children. But she didn't just say it would happen, she predicted it would become mandatory. Wales Online explains that Vanga predicted governments across the world would ban natural birth in favor of laboratory-grown babies, where parents could choose everything from the child's appearance to their personality traits. The Daily Record adds that if Vanga's prediction is correct, this would bring an end to surrogacy. Another big swing Vanga took in her 2023 predictions was that aliens will invade Earth, according to the Daily Record. Most Americans, about 65%, according to a 2021 Pew Research Center survey, believe intelligent extraterrestrial life exists, so why not? Not only will aliens invade, Vanga reportedly said, but they'll cause a shift in the Earth's orbit around the sun, having a major impact on the sustainability of life on the planet. Maybe that's why babies will have to be grown in labs. Isn't that how babies come? I mean... People, babies. While we're on the topic of fears of potentially world-altering events, how about a possible nuclear disaster? 
The 2011 accident at a nuclear plant in Fukushima, Japan is a pretty recent memory, and the 1986 Chernobyl disaster was brought back to the public consciousness with a 2019 HBO series. Bavanka predicts an accident that will dwarf both of those in 2023. According to the Daily Mail, she said an explosion at a power plant in Asia will cause toxic clouds and illnesses that will spread across multiple countries. Finally, Baba Banka broached the topic of biological weapons, an international concern throughout the 21st century. Remember the anthrax lace letters during the immediate aftermath of the 9-11 attacks? Or the charges that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction? Cornwall Live reports that Banka predicted a developed nation would launch a biological weapon attack in 2023. According to the Center for Arms Control and Nonproliferation, the Biological Weapons Commission of the United Nations has banned the experimentation and use of biological weapons among the 183 nations in the agreement. The Russian Federation is among those 183 countries, but Bloomberg and other outlets have reported fears that Russia may use a biological weapon in its war against Ukraine. Of course, no one really knows what is in store for the year to come. Whether it's an alien invasion, nuclear plant explosion, or nothing at all, here's to another year. I mean, yeah, you got to think about it, too. He said, like, bro, we don't know what certain governments are willing to do to protect what they got. We, I mean, we know what we would do if we had no choice. It'd be up. And he, they already demonstrated that they don't care about, you know, war going on and them attacking, like, uh, civilians and everything and lying about it. But we can see the damage that was being done. But, yo, war is crazy, man. That's why that's why we shouldn't have war. All these weapons, these weapons of mass destruction is crazy, right? Why you think that it's like they 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 got so many reports with UFOs around them. If the if the if the aliens nigga is 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 worried about the the the, the nuclear bomb warheads and stuff, then come on now. And they got advanced technology. We just got to think about that. There's a lot going on. Then we got to verify which uh, UFOs is ours and theirs. Like, damn, is it certain license places going to be on the motherfuckers or what? Like, like how we going to know who, who, who picking us up when shit go crazy? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> hey. from that movie the creator this is insane the chargers had real ai robots at their season open look at how weird these are wow hey that's from a movie but i mean look i just had to put that in there i had to say that because a lot of people thinking like that's like real real i don't think that's real ai y'all yeah. How y'all feel in the comments? From a movie. I want to explain what Apollo really was. First, first phase was yes, go to the moon, uh, pick up your rocks, take your pictures, and come home. Okay. Second phase, build a ten thousand man naval research facility under the ground on the moon. Next phase go to all of the planets in the solar system and build stations on their, uh, on their planets or their moons. Fourth stage, go out into the galaxy and go to the 12 closest stars, Alpha Centauri, Centauri being the first, we had to drop that because we found out that it had two suns and the radiation was going to be impossible. So we skipped that one, but we were to go to the 11 closest. Do the same thing, except 
we would start the program to interface with the people on the, the that star's planets and we would go into marketing. Yes, we would have the Navy go there, but we were going to set up commerce, all right, with the 11 closest stars planets. Uh, then the last one was to do the same thing out into the galaxy and be extensive. And that was to have a continuous production launch program from 1963 till 1999. Continuous launching of various types of vehicles. And I talk about our truck vehicles, which are the Novas. These are massive rockets, which are propelled by liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen, standard rock, rocket engines. Okay, for the first missions in local planets here, we'll, we'll use the, the rockets. But as we move out into the galaxy, we're going to be using anti-gravitational uh, and electromagnetic propulsion. Okay, so now we go back to the moon mission part of this. And what I want to explain is that the vehicles that we designed for all of these missions after the moon mission are massive. They're like 40 times the size of the little Apollo over here on the side of the picture, okay? So we got big ships. They thought they were cloaked. Good to know. Look, homie thought they were cloaky cloaked. Ah, no, we seen y'all up there. Yeah. Okay. Run it. I had to run it back, Turbo. Let's see. They thought they were cloaked. But oh, that's crazy, though. Mm. I love how they got all the angles at the same time, though. I don't pause, but y'all see what's happening. Mm. Up out of here. Hey, some human beings getting their upgrades, right? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's crazy. I ain't.
Y'all gonna understand why in a minute. It's crazy. I'll let y'all know why. That's shocking right there. You know what? I got I got a video of that. I got an original video video of the same object. It'll be it'd be dropping in my live tomorrow. So make sure that y'all got your notifications on so y'all can see my live tomorrow. I'm showing y'all my personal videos with my encounters. You feel me? I'm gonna show y'all my personal videos with my encounters tomorrow on live. Make sure y'all are here, got your notifications on. I'm telling you, it's gonna be what? I'm gonna go live at like what? Five MST. Five MST. Y'all be here. That's crazy. It's the same craft. We have a late breaking story coming out of Friendship, Indiana tonight. We have received eyewitness video from a source only identified as I'm the cryptic. Several witnesses are reporting multiple unidentified flying objects flying above the Friendship flea market. The video shows multiple objects in an odd formation and seems to show at least one government recon aircraft in close proximity. We'll have more details as information continues to emerge from the area. I'm telling you. That look like it looked like one of those tubes that they keep talking about. That those six foot four plus tall extraterrestrial black people. Are doing. Oh. A mysterious nighttime video was filmed in an unknown city sometime in 2018 by an anonymous videographer. Shot from atop a tall building, the video shows a sweeping view of the cityscape below, with trees dotting the landscape. Hovering silently in the night sky is a strange luminous object estimated to be about 1,000 feet in altitude. The anomalous flying object emits pulsating flashes of blue light and projects a stark white beam of light extending straight down from the craft to the ground. While the video is intriguing, its origins are uncertain, leaving its validity open to question. The unusual lights and silent, floating object could potentially be explained by creative video editing, an as yet unidentified natural phenomenon, or even an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Without more context and verification, the video remains an ambiguous and unconfirmed visual record. Did the kids come out to look? Did you see it? Though when it was over here, it looked so crazy. It looked like it's on fire. I don't think that's it. That's how it goes from over all right, I want to know something though. So we had to run that video right there back. All right, so look, y'all know how we already know about Project Blue Beam and everything, right? So what do y'all think that possibly is? Um, do you think that uh, it's Blue Beam? I kind of could think that uh, if we see objects like that are just like you know not detailed and just a light or whatever, I think that's something something that can be easily faked with Blue Beam. We do know that Blue Beam exists. I just think that you know. I don't know, something ain't right, you know, and uh, and obviously that can be some type of uh, weaponry or something like that, but I feel like, man, 
I don't know. How many of y'all think in the comments down below, if Blue Beam was to happen, right? Do you think that you will be able to tell the difference between a real craft and something that's absolutely fake? Because one thing we do know is that it's quote unquote said, if that was to happen, I'm just saying that they would actually, actually use real weaponry alongside the holograms or whatever the Blue Beam is, right? So... Just let me know in the comments down below. Do you think you'll be able to tell the difference or not? Or are you going to crumble and think that we're under attack by aliens when really we're not? And it could be. You know who. Just questions. Yeah. Marrakech, dans la nuit du vendredi 8 au samedi 9, Brocoli TV. Regardez dans le ciel. Expliquez-moi en commentaire, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Marrakech dans la nuit du vendredi. Let me know in the comments down below too if y'all been seeing the orbs or these crafts let me know let's spam it in the comments down below what city you are in and, and when was it when when is the closest date you know to when you seen these things let's start getting uh you know what I'm saying a roll call on this i think that'd be something dope to do so we can actually start seeing like exactly where and how frequently right so share these videos Se llama Clara, el cero, ¿verdad? Así lo So this is the uh, the extraterrestrial that they said that the uh, that Mexico was holding on to, and uh, yeah, I'll let y'all know how I feel about this afterwards. Ya ven el anillo en, el, en la falange del medio, uh -huh. en la misma aleación. ¿Qué material es el anillo, perdón? De la misma aleación. ¿Que dijiste que era oro? O tiene oro, platino, o sea, es una combinación de metales. Eh, no hemos entrado a más detalles por no destruirlo, ¿no? Pero aquí se ve el anillo. Esta mano mide 45 centímetros. Y también trae una placa, esas de metal, como la pueden ver, ahí está la placa. ¿Para qué servían esas placas? No lo podemos saber. Tres dedos, seis falanges. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis falanges. El doble que, que, que el humano. Pero por el tamaño pertenecería a un cero muchísimo más grande que el que sí. vimos en el cráneo. Exactamente, también tridáctico. How many of y'all think that's real? The stuff that they're showing, like, uh, I'm like, look, man, it's cool to think about 
you know, a lot of these extraterrestrials out here and stuff, right? But I, I for some reason, for me, just for me, I, I call Cap. I, I respectfully call Cap. Let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel about that because I, 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 I try to disprove things before I believe them and, you know, start going deeper into it. If I find red flags, bro, like the things are being faked out, I just, ugh, you know. Um, I've, I've seen too much on the skeletal remains on how they got this little being that they're showing. It, it, the math ain't mathing, people. I just got to tell you. The math ain't mathing, man. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. It's just my opinion, though. Don't mean that I'm right. It could very well be real. But, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to keep it a buck on here. I, I call it cat, man. Kind of alien is that. We can call it the cap daddy. <laughs> they, 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 they showed the cap daddy. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I just, I don't know. Mexican Congress unveiled the remains of alleged non-human beings with only three fingers on It's underwhelming though. Like, look at it, man. I uh, they show ET, bro, from the movie. We already like, you know what I'm saying? That's why the world was just like But I, I will say though, I think that there is there there's a possibility for these to be out there, but I just don't think this is it. I think this is like a fake. Like. Each hand and elongated heads at a public hearing on unidentified anomalous phenomena. They also provided previously unseen UAP footage. The hearing, which was live streamed online, was attended by lawmakers, scientists, and journalists. The main speaker was Jaime Mausan, a renowned Mexican journalist, who presented the two mummified specimens that he claimed were extraterrestrial in origin. Mosan said that the specimens were found in Cusco, Peru, and that they were dated to be around 1,000 years old. He said that they were not part of the human evolutionary line, and that they had unique anatomical features, such as three fingers on each hand, three toes on each foot, elongated heads, and metal implants. Mosan also said that DNA tests and x-rays were performed on the specimens and that they showed that they had a genetic makeup that was different from any known terrestrial species. He said that the specimens were not hoaxes or manipulated in any way. So what do you think? Are we one step closer to full disclosure? Or will this end up being a hoax and harmful to discovering the truth? Thanks for watching. Right. The TR-3B is a purported secret black triangle plane that has been the subject of much speculation and controversy. It is said to be a highly advanced and classified aircraft with extraordinary technology and performance capabilities, allegedly part of the United States' top secret black budget programs. Its origins are unclear, with theories ranging from reverse engineered extraterrestrial technology to advanced military research and development. The TR-3B is alleged to have a revolutionary anti-gravity propulsion system advanced stealth capabilities, and unique lights that emit colorful plasma-like glows. Despite numerous accounts and alleged sightings, there is no concrete evidence of its existence, and the United States government has not officially confirmed. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> uh, 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 of course not. Like, why would they do that? They lie about everything. Like, it's crazy.
You know what though? You know, I got I had a top secret security clearance, but one thing is, bro, like, you know, I've been on many missions and stuff in my life, right? Um, but now that I think about it, I I I it's good that y'all didn't put me out there with that type of shit, like walking around with those in the sky, because I mean I ain't gonna lie, I would tell everybody. <laughs> I would tell everybody, man. Like, damn, that shit was cool, man. But but I, I ain't walking outside on the ground like that. I done seen too much, man. We did too much training, bro. You get your legs blown up by by IEDs, step on trip mines. I'm cool, bro. I'm cool on that. But it, it, it sounds cool, though, right? It sounds like a badass. But look, I love my legs, man. I, I love to be able to go running and stuff, man. Burn off some stress. Burn off some calories and some fat. You feel me? And just, I enjoy running. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all love running. I might be part. It might be my uh my. Let me shut up. That's crazy. Uh, we will initiate the test message that goes to cellular phones. Um, that will cause phones to uh, ring, very similar to if you have ever see, received a flash flood or an amber alert that also came through the same system, but it's the wireless emergency alert system. So the, the phones will, uh, they buzz very loudly. Uh, they sound very similar. The sound that comes out is very similar to what you're used to hearing on the emergency alert system uh, at the beginning of alerts that are broadcast on radio and television. Um, the message, the text of the message will display right on the, on the uh, home screen or on the, the middle of the screen of the cell phone. Um, at the top of that, there will be a banner that will say presidential alert. That's the category of the type of alert that we're allowed to send nationwide. And then the text of the message will say, test. This is only a test of the national uh, wireless emergency alert system, and no action is, is needed. So there was concern that Americans weren't necessarily watching radio and TV, uh, especially in the evenings, maybe. Uh, the new technology of the cellular phones was just coming online. It was suggested uh, that we figure out a way to be also, also be able to send alerts to cellular phones and all other devices as they come online. Ooh, 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 ooh. So look, so look, so look, so look. A lot of people come to, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people talk junk and be like, oh, those are conspiracies and stuff like that. But then when they start to tell you, is it, is it, is it a conspiracy now? You know, is aliens a conspiracy? Is sending that message out a conspiracy? They're able to send things to your phone like that. Why are they talking about this? Did y'all see the movie uh, Greenland? If you haven't, go check out Greenland. It's the same alert that they're talking about. And then also take this into consideration. The real things that are happening. We're not talking about things that are just made up for movies. We're talking about real life correlations, people. All the billionaires and millionaires that got bunkers. Why is everybody preparing? Why are they moving tons and tons of food under the ground? Why can you drive you, the same shit you can do up here, you can do under there. We're driving through the tunnels that they have made down there. It's a full civilization down there. But, you know, it's a lot of things coming. Well, what are they preparing for? And then, as you've seen on the movie, most of us aren't going to be invited in case of any type of calamity. You know, uh, let's be real. We better hope we get these goddamn upgrades or something like that happen if the sun do this and that. Look, you know, that's all cool. But let's just say, let's just... Let's just, this, you know, just play what ifs and, you know, asteroid do come. Because, look, I was watching, I was watching football this past weekend, right? 
I've been I've been supporting Coach Prime, by the way. It was a commercial that came on though, and it was an asteroid falling through the sky, through the galaxy and stuff. It was going through different planets and stuff like that. I was like, damn, it's a cool video, you know? And then the asteroid went through. Guess what? To get to us. The water the asteroid went through water to get to us on planet Earth, bro, and hit the Earth. The movie Greenland, you see the signal that he was just talking about? It's only a select few people that's going down there. It's people that they need, people that they can benefit from. So everybody else they ain't got no skills and nothing to, to add. You're not going. It's not going to be okay. You feel me? But look, I'm just letting y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just out here to support everybody. You know what I'm saying? We got to understand that a lot of things that's happening, it's not about color. It's not none of that stuff. You see, the biggest root of evil on this planet is money. The biggest secrets is kept behind money i don't want to get too deep into that because it get crazy it gets sticky you feel me but look i'm just trying to be here for me and mine and i'm just you know what i'm saying showing y'all things you know go do your own research don't ever believe anything you see on this channel right here please don't you know just always make sure you go out here doing your own research believe what you want to believe man just make sure that you you're manifesting as best as possible for you and your family keeping yourself clear keeping your health clear you know what i'm saying just make sure y'all go do your checkups on your hearts because look i'm just trying to let y'all know you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things going on, and I'm just doing my part to spread the word. So I love you guys. I'll see you at the next video. And I'm out here, though. Bye.